Hello visionaries, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Marisa Talbert. I am the founder and CEO of Talbert Law Office, your favorite go-to legal resource for all things business, nonprofit, and intellectual property law. So we've been diving into the discussion about contractual agreements. The reason why I'm going so hard on contracts is because my last three big cases have been breach of contract cases. In one of my cases, my client paid another party almost $60,000 for a service and the other party breached the contract. While I was able to recover the benefit of the contract for my client, we went through an 18 month arbitration and my client incurred over $140,000 in attorney's fees. In my second case, my client was being sued for a breach of contract, which did not actually happen, for a sum of almost $1 million. And now almost one year later, we're in a settlement discussion. My third case is a breach of a commercial lease agreement where my client was the tenant. It's been almost two years since the dispute started and we're now awaiting a judgment from a court. I say all this because I want you to know that these kinds of contract disputes don't just happen to celebrities and big corporations. They happen to small business owners. And let me tell you who's a small business owner. The Small Business Administration defines a small business as 500 employees or fewer if you're a manufacturing company and average annual receipts of $7.5 million if you're not a manufacturing company. So guess what that means? That means 99.9% .9 of US businesses qualify as small businesses. As a small business owner, you can't afford not to have the right contracts in place for your business. And today, we're specifically going to talk about the IP license agreement. If you have a trademark or a copyright registration, also having an IP license agreement is not an option. It's a must. The protection of your intellectual property is granted under the premise that you, as the owner of that IP, will control how that IP is used. Let me say it again and let me say it a little differently for the people in the back who didn't quite understand. When the government approves or grants your trademark or copyright registration, there is an expectation that you as the owner of that trademark or copyright registration will control who and how that intellectual property is used, okay? If you are allowing someone to use your intellectual property without a license agreement, you are communicating, I don't want control over it. I don't care who uses it. I don't care how they use it. That's what you're saying. And guess what? You're gonna lose those intellectual property rights. Did you get how A plus B equals C? So A is, I have something that is unique to me or my business and my brand. Something that I created, that's A. B is, I don't want anyone else to use it. I don't want anyone else to steal this unique creative thing that I have, that's B. Control equals C, trademark registration, copyright registration, intellectual property rights. So you get these intellectual property rights because you have something that is unique to you, that is valuable to you, plus B, you need to control how it's being used so no one else can steal that value from you. A plus B equals C. If you don't have B, if you don't have control, then you don't have rights. You don't need the rights. So you lose those rights. You have to use your rights or you lose your rights. If people can use your trademark or your copyright any way that they want to, you don't need exclusive control over it. As an intellectual property owner, it is also your duty to enforce your intellectual property rights. But that's exactly what a license agreement does. It provides control over who uses your IP and how they use your IP. This allows you to maintain and strengthen your intellectual property rights and may get you a little passive income on the side. So for all of you who are dropping the ball on your business transactions, you need to take a first class flight on over to the TLO marketplace and get your trademark or copyright license agreement right now. And I mean, right now. That's it, that's all I got for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend. And as always, this is Talbert Law Office, your favorite go-to legal resource for all things business, nonprofit, and intellectual property law. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.